wealth, fame, power. Computer science was always seen as the golden ticket to success for those whose favorite childhood hobby was not playing in the woods or something, but instead playing Pokemon on their Game Boy. However, with companies cutting jobs, platforms like Lovable promising you to build an app with just a few prompts and Jensen saying he would recommend studying physical sciences, this perception has changed a lot. Is it still worth to get a computer science degree or should you instead do something more future-proof like becoming a crypto trader, a dropshipper or a life coach? To give my opinion at least a bit of credibility, yes, I actually do have a master's degree in computer science and the rumors are true, you don't have to work at McDonald's with that degree. You can actually get a pretty cool job right after graduation as I'm employed as a data scientist specialized in NLP. But before I dive into why it might be worth for you to study computer science, I will first go over some reasons when it's definitely not a good idea for you to get into CS. First off, if you're not excited or want to understand things such as ChatGPT, YouTube or how your iPhone works beyond the surface, people often said to me like, just because you like video games doesn't mean you should study computer science. But for me, games definitely fueled my interest in computers, so I definitely don't think this is true. Um, the second reason why you should not when you should not study computer science is if being able to program or create new technology doesn't excite you. Um, you don't necessarily have to program on your job, there are some jobs without programming, but it should at least excite you to be able to create new stuff um, that you can program. The third reason is if you hate working on your own for hours or even days. Um, so if you're very extroverted and need to interact with a lot of people in your daily life to energize, you will probably hate this job. Four, if you want to get your hands dirty or you want to be physically active or want to directly help people with their personal problems, well, yeah, computer science jobs will probably not involve any of that. And five is if you have a low tolerance for frustration because computer science really feels like falling down a mountain while getting stuck and hitting every single rock on the way. It, it can be very frustrating and um, if you've never programmed before, yeah, uh, be prepared for that. But okay, what if you have a genuine interest in technology, you like problem solving and don't mind living as a hermit? Isn't AI going to replace all of computer science anyway? Well, just like any tool, AI is just useless without a human instructing it and verifying the results. Computer scientists are trained to solve problems that involve computation, which also isn't a specific task with an ultimate end goal that can be completely solved, like for example driving cars from point A to B. So having more capable AI will just allow us to solve more complex problems and create even better technologies. That's also why any good computer science degree doesn't focus on learning specific technologies, but instead focuses on making you a very good problem solver in general, which will always stay relevant. Although AI has definitely lowered the bar for coding and every business major can now create a barely functioning uh, investment website on Lovable, AI has also increased the ceiling of what a single developer with a lot of domain expertise can do. With just a laptop, a ChatGPT subscription and the Google Cloud free tier, you can create some life-changing technology and of course become extremely rich. Computer science is also really the only field where there is still rapid progress as from the last few, uh, 30 years or so, we went from desktop computers to the invention of the internet, to mobile compute, to cloud compute, to now VR, crypto and AI, with each evolution bringing along many opportunities to create new things. So it seems weird to me like people are acting like this is the worst time in history to study computer science, while in my opinion it's like the best time ever. You might also wonder if you should just self-study instead of getting a college degree, as some of the most successful people all didn't get a degree. Well, there is a very simple answer to this. Are you a genius that currently owns a billion dollar business? If not, just get a degree. 
Just look at the job openings of um, interesting things such as machine learning jobs, cybersecurity or cloud infrastructure and you will see they all require degrees and sometimes even PhDs to work in. Not that my current job is like super exclusive, but without a degree you wouldn't even be considered as an applicant. You also learn way more in university than just the course content itself. So let's maybe talk a bit about my personal experience. I am from Belgium and studied at the KU Leuven because it's ranked the highest and definitely not because it's the single best place to go out in as a student. However, after choosing where to study based on the most bars per square meter, reality soon hit as the first trimester of my CS degree was probably the most stressful period of my life. Because no, you don't learn how to make apps or video games. Instead, you have to learn advanced mathematics, learn how formal logic and proofs work, study computer systems on a very low level, and learn how programming works, both the algorithms themselves, and you also have to create a small game. I was overwhelmed by all of this because you have to do all of this in the first three months. And also because I thought that only the theoretical courses would be hard, but I also struggled with programming initially. This was of course before ChatGPT, so for my first assignments I literally just stared at my screen for hours, not knowing how to start and also not having the mental clarity to really look up things, because I also needed to study for my mathematical courses, which I also found very hard. So after a few weeks I thought I had made a huge mistake and considered dropping out as I thought I would simply fail all my courses. However, I kept motivating myself to just stick around at least until after the first exam results as in my mind I still couldn't be the only one failing. And I was right because through perseverance and maybe a divine intervention I actually passed all my courses. and because I struggled so hard but still came out ahead. I also gained a lot of confidence in my capabilities and had way less stress the following years. If I were self-teaching myself, I would have never put myself in such a hard situation and would have never known that through struggling you could get yourself out of it. Another special moment in my university career was somewhere in the second or third year where I started to realize I could learn and program almost anything if I had enough time to learn it, which definitely feels very powerful. And the first time you get that feeling you should definitely watch the movie The Social Network and you have set yourself up for at least three failed startup attempts. There are also some other cool opportunities you can do in college. For example, in my first years of my masters, I did an entrepreneurship project where you get placed in a team with eight other students who all study something completely different, for example, psychology or architecture. And you have to develop a MVP for a local company during the entire year, where you're basically operating as a startup, which is definitely a unique experience. In my last year, I also wrote a paper and my university KU Leuven gave me the opportunity to go present it at a conference all the way in South Carolina, which is definitely an experience I won't forget. So yeah, doing a college degree definitely taught me the value of perseverance and gave me the confidence and capabilities to learn new things within the computer science field, which really made it worth it for me. So in conclusion, I actually believe that currently might be the best time in history to study computer science and doing a college degree is probably the best way to do that. However, computer science is not for everyone. Also remember, don't believe in nonsense such as do what you love and you never work a day in your life. It will be more like do something you find interesting, work hard and you will be able to wake up without hating your life. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I see you in the next one.